Okay, so I just got done doing the Marvel Legends Zombie Scarlet Witch review. And I gotta say, this is who I teased. This is, um, yeah. You guys watched the uh, Zombie Scarlet Witch. You guys pointed out that I didn't point out one specific figure while I was missing. So, mm. anyway, before I start this uh, review, I just want to tell you guys. Did you guys watch Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania? I know I have. I watched it like a couple weekends ago. And let me tell y'all, I kid you not that half percent of you were jumping in joy with excitement when you guys, in the second trailer, when you guys saw MODOK. That is right. When I first heard, <coughs> excuse me, when I first heard that MODOK was coming to the MCU in the Quantumania movie, Holy hell, I never felt so happy in my life. Remember when I did the uh, Mo Marvel Legends MODOK Deluxe Figure Review? I mentioned that I wanted to see MODOK in the MCU and that's what I wanted. I guess Kevin Foggy must have learned, uh, must have listened to my message. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, so MODOK was finally in the MCU, but not what I expected. When I found out his true identity, my, mal uh, my smile instantly disappeared. He looks stupid. So apparently Modoc is Darren Cross and not George Tarleton. You have got to be shitting me, I thought. When I first heard of that shit, I was like, oh my god, you fucking serious cunt. What the fuck? Why is he Darren Cross? I understand like the story, like I know and like so basically because I know who Darren Cross is, he's basically the yellow jacket dude. He was like the main villain in the first Ant-Man movie. And when I found out that he was... It's because like... I guess they wanted to bring Modoc in the MCU by making like some story. Like saying like, I don't know, Darren Cross. Like instead of being killed off, he was sent to the Quantum Realm. And like Kang saved him and he turned him into the... Old mental organism designed only for killing. Yeah, more like mental organism designed only for comedy. <coughs> And I'm like, bro, like, why did it have to be Darren Cross? Corey's, why did, why did it have to be Corey Stoll? If you wanted Corey Stoll to play MODOK, you could have at least casted Corey Stoll to play George Tarleton. And you could have at least casted someone else to play Yellow Jacket. Why, why the same character? It's because I know because Marvel is, is like doing the same exact uh, mistakes, which they're killing off their villains too easily. So I get that. But like. Why, why, like, just why? They fucking ruined Modoc. They fucking ruined it. And then they added this fucking battle mask thing, and people thought that that was actually Modoc. And people thought when we saw the um, the leaked uh, footage for Modoc back at the Comic Con, and people thought that Modoc was just gonna be a straight up bitch ass robot instead of a human, but I guess we were all wrong. And I gotta say, you know what? I think the battle mask was cool and the shit, like, it was cool in the face. But I think the CGI is just awful. It looks like they just took Corey Stoll's head and just fucking like stretched it out to the max and put it in the chair. And it looks nothing like MODOK. Mo he doesn't even act like MODOK. He doesn't even look menacing. He just looks completely normal. They didn't they should they didn't even make his face right. They should have added wrinkles and PC white eyes. They should have done that. But for some reason they didn't bother to do that at all. It was just fucking awful. He should have been bigger. Oh god damn. It was just it was just a complete fucking disaster. <clears throat> just and I'm just sitting there every and on the theater I'm just sitting there going, what the fuck? Modoc is ruined. You guys literally ruined my my favorite Marvel villain and turned him into this whatever the fuck that is. They look this shit looked like Humpty Dumpty, remember? It's like the Puss in Boots Humpty Dumpty. They look like... They're posting memes of that shit. They're posting like Humpty Dumpty in MODOK suit. Although I gotta say the, the suit of MODOK, like the legs and the overall suit, looks pretty good. I like how they... <coughs> Sorry, I'm just very sick right now. I'm coughing. My throat is all fucked up and shit, but... What they got right is... His limbs... <coughs> fuck me. His limbs are all... His arms and his legs are purple, just like they were in the comics. His armor was 
was gold. He had that gem on his head. Awesome. But the CGI, man. Don't even get me started on it. I'm very fucking disappointed. Half of the people wanted to see... Um, Half of the people wanted to see movie just to see Morak. I, I, I wanted to see it just to see Morak, just to be honest. Because I'm, I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. But... They weren't prepared. They just fucking ruined him. I mean, how hard is it? Are you fucking kidding me? How hard is it? You could have at least casted like people said that, it, that Modoc was going to be played by Jim Carrey a long time ago, but unfortunately that's never going to happen. Why not cast another another celebrity to play Modoc? Like the George Charlton, you could have at least set up like a, for example, you could have at least set up like. Uh, you could have at least casted to play someone like George Tarleton, and you could have at least made him like, oh, well, maybe George Tarleton was experimenting with the quantum realm and he got trapped in it, and Kang saved him and turned him into Modok. That's what you could have at least done that. Why fucking make him Darren Cross? What the fuck? People are gonna not like that at all. But uh, I hope. The real George Tarleton, the real Modoc, the real OG Modoc. George Tarleton is somewhere out there in the MCU. I'm just gonna say that out right now. You can never have too many Modocs in the MCU, but but why? Why Darren Cross? Whoever thought Darren Cross, stupid. Uh, I, I'm just so over this shit. This what this is the whole fucking reason why people don't watch Marvel movies anymore. The whole fucking reason why. Why, why, what, well, I don't understand, man. And they didn't even bother to destroy his voice. It, like, he, he should have been bigger and said he was like more human sized, you know. But I guess that's it. I guess that's Modoc, you know, that's what we wanted. But anyway, enough talking. Uh, today we're going to check out the Marvel Legends Conchi build a figure wave, he who remains. I just got done doing, like I said, I just got done doing the Scarlet Witch. So, um, yeah, this is the uh, other figure I was talking about. He who remains, aka Kang the Conqueror. Uh, he's basically pay, He's basically played, this character is basically played by the two same actors, Jonathan Majors, who is going to be playing Kang in Quantumania, who already did. And he played it. Uh, he who remains in Loki. So this is obviously Kang, but he's just called He Who Remains. So uh, yeah, nothing much to it. We'll, we'll we'll talk about more of this character when we check him out. So without further ado, I'm not wasting any more of you guys' time. Let's check this guy out. So here we have him again. Just uh, the first time we saw this character was in the Loki show um, in Marvel Studios. Um. So, uh, yeah, I say this character is not too, wasn't too, uh, you know, favorited. Although he was, just because it's pretty obvious he was going to be playing Kang. Because he's obviously Kang, but, you know, people weren't confirmed until Jonathan Majors confirmed it. But, yeah, so, here we have Kang, or He Who Remains. I should, I'm just going to start calling He Who Remains because, you know, if you guys want to call him Kang, then go ahead. I don't really give a shit, but in this... He's he who remains, so let's go ahead and check him out. So as you can see, we got the old new Marvel Legends series packaging. Uh, Conchu build a figure wave right there. Got the other uh, the other figures. Uh, the only ones I'm missing is Howard the Duck and Jimmy Woo. Those are the only ones I'm missing, and I will complete my Conchu. So yeah, uh, on the back of the box, <coughs> we can see the, the figure right there. He comes with an accessory and the... Head of Conchu, which is really cool. Uh, just a bunch of bullshit down there. Barcode, Marvel. Side of the packaging, we can see the he who remains, and uh, looks like uh, Jonathan Majors is not going to be having this beard. He's going to be having scars too. I mean, if you want to do your own customizations, you guys can go ahead and do so. But although he doesn't have that, so why not? And on the top. You can see Marvel Legends series. You can see the Loki sign on top of there. And uh, you can see the Build a Figure Conchu, ages 4 and up. Uh, you can see the Destiny Plus series. Marvel Studios Loki. So go check that out right now. Season 2 is coming out, baby, for Phase 5. I can't wait. 
So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, let's go, uh, I mean, that's basically it for He Remains, so, uh, let's just say, why not, let's go ahead and bust this guy out, and we'll have a closer look. And here we have the He Who Remains figure out of the packaging. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the accessories. So first thing he comes with is uh, the Build-A-Figure piece for Conchu. And this is the headpiece, as you guys can see right there. That's actually a really nice sculpt. Just check this out. This is going to be... Ooh, this Build-A-Figure is going to be so fucking cool. Look at, look at this. It's just dope. Well, yeah, we're just going to put that off to the side and we'll... This will make another appearance when I make a separate video, and if I can find the other pieces, of course. And the, the only accessory that comes with this is this green apple. Yep, it's the green apple that he uses, uh, that he eats in the Loki show. I haven't watched the show, so... I mean, like, I, sh I should probably watch the show so I can learn more from the storyline. But yeah, this is the green apple that he... So yeah, that, I mean, you just put that in his hand. So now let's go ahead and check out the figure himself. And I gotta say, the head sculpt is looks a lot like Jonathan Majors. Just super cool, this head sculpt. If um, I know Hasbro's gonna release that King the Conqueror with the... What's it called? The, uh, the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania set and the uh, with the Cassie Lang builder figure and they're gonna release the, release the King the Conqueror. And I guess you could like pop off the head of this guy of, um, of He Who Remains and pop it on the body because I know that figure's not going to include an alternate head, but, you know, it's what it is. So this figure's super cool. As you guys can see, he has the uh, longish purple uh, robe, I think it's called, and it's pretty flexible and rubbery. And you guys can see uh, the insides, the skirts, and you guys can see, like, the armor piece in there. It looks pretty nice. And uh, I forgot what this thing was called on his hand. I, I forgot. If you leave me a comment, and I'll... Um, and I'll uh, probably say, but like, this is what it is. And you can see the hands are pretty nice. The articulation is smooth. It's not stiff. So thank God there's the other hand. Just super cool. And you guys can see the sandals that he wears. The pants. It was like sweatpants, isn't it? <laughs> That's crazy. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool figure. Um... I think yeah, I think they made a Loki uh a Loki set of Marvel Legends, but maybe this one will go good. And maybe uh maybe this could be your Kang the Conqueror replacement, I guess you guys can say, right? Probably. But super cool. This figure is honestly really awesome. It's a super neat figure. So let's go ahead and go over the articulation. So his head is on the ball joint, like always. I give you Marvel Legends. I think it can go just a little bit up. I'm gonna break his neck and just go down. You guys can obviously see the ball joint there. Uh, super cool. His um, his arms can go out. They can go forwards and backs. Uh, this piece is kind of blocking him, so it limits the articulation. But it's pretty cool that you can do it. Uh, again, double jointed shoulders on the elbows. Wait. Yeah, double jointed. I th I think those. I think that's a double joint. I don't know. I'm not sure, but maybe it is. Uh, he has articulation here on the on the ab right on the ab right here. Just you can barely move it because of the coat. 
And uh, the legs can go forwards, they can go backwards, they can spread out like so. Not too much moving because, again, of the robe or I don't know what the fuck it's called. Yes, pinless articulation. Fuck yes. And he, uh, can, he has the double jointed knees, so you guys can move those pretty freely, but you guys are not going to move those. Uh, he has uh, ball joints at the knees, and they can move up and down like so. So, yeah, uh, this guy stands perfectly fine. Just look at that, you know. Um, this figure, um, when I found out, when I first, like, heard about this guy, and I was like, oh, it's just a random guy. But when I heard it was Kang the Conqueror, I was like, what? There's no way this is Kang the Conqueror. He looks nothing like it. But I, when I watched the trailer for Quantumania, hmm, guess I said too much. I was like, okay. Yeah. But um, let's. I'm going to see if he can hold the apple. I'm just going to try that right now. Come on, Kang. I mean, who he who remains... Oh, come on, uh, bend your elbow, there we go. Oh, I forgot, he has uh, swivels at the hands, so his hands can move like like that, so you can pose his hands like like whichever way you want. So yeah, that's pretty cool. He has no swivel in the bicep whatsoever, but you know, it's just a cloak. Come on, can you hold your apple, please? Please? Don't, oh shit, the apple's rolling away, can you hold your apple? Damn it. Have, dude, hold your apple for fuck's sake, please. Okay, thank you, thank you. I guess I guess that's the best I could do it. There, he's holding his apple. So now he's gonna eat his apple, cause you know he's gonna wait for Loki and that other girl to come through the whatever the fuck door. He's gonna be like, hey. But yeah, the this figure, I definitely recommend him. Uh, recommend him if you're gonna complete your your Khonshu uh, figure, uh, you'll obviously need this figure. I know a lot of people don't want to pick it up, but you're going to have to. Uh, but I got to say, this is a pretty cool figure. Why, why wouldn't you pick him up? I mean, just look at him. He's, it's, it's, it's a neat figure. I mean, this is an early start for Kang, you know? if you, if, if, I mean, I'm not sure when the M and the Wasp Quantumania Marvel Legends figures release. But I'll, I'll look it up online. I'll find out. But anyway... Uh, yeah, that was the, uh, He Who Remains figure. Hmm, I wasn't expecting this review to be really short, but I guess all my reviews are really short, yeah? Yeah, 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 probably because I'm pretty trash at this, but I'll, I'll pretty, you know, I'll learn how to do it anyway. But anyway, that was the Kang the Conqueror. Oh my god, why do I keep calling him Kang? It's He Who Remains. It's obviously Kang. But anyway, yeah, that was the, uh... He who remains figure from Marvel Legends. So uh yeah. Uh thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, please give a thumbs up. <coughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys to miss a new video every time it comes out. Share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, like this video. And I'll probably see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.